Hi, I'm Dan Urquhart, engineering team lead for the Twist 2 project, here to highlight some of the new features in Christie Twist 2. The first thing you'll notice about Twist 2 is that the user interface has been completely redesigned. Our goal was to make Twist 2 easier to use and even more powerful than its predecessor. Twist 2 now shows recent documents for convenience alongside the new and open buttons. Let's create a new Twist file. Twist now automatically searches the local subnet for projectors much more quickly than previous versions of Twist. We've also added a manual tab to allow you to connect the projectors that are not on the local network, provided you know their IP address. For those of you who are familiar with Twist 1, we've retained the initial setup wizard so that you can define properties up front. However, we've simplified the information required. On this screen, you can adjust your preferences for when Twist starts. The initial warp grid size, spring mode, show selected points, and show test patterns. If you choose not to see this wizard again, Twist will remember your settings. You can modify them later from the Preferences dialog. I can now see my projectors on the canvas. The initial grid size I set has been applied, and the test patterns have been drawn on the projectors. At this point, it's helpful to make sure that the projector layout in Twist canvas matches the real projector setup. In Twist 2, we've added a new feature to help with this. From the Home ribbon, pick Identify. Each projector will be numbered, and this number will be shown in Twist as well as projected. You can then drag and drop the projector windows on the canvas to rearrange them. Click Identify again to continue working. Projector details have been moved from the bottom of the screen to a dialog, which is accessible by clicking on the top left of each projector window, on the name. This allows you to rename the projector, as well as giving you access to basic projector control. Of course, Christy Virtual Remote is still available. Along the upper left, you'll notice tabs for warping, blending, masking, and brightness uniformity. Just like Twist 1, these tabs allow you to switch layers and work with different aspects of Twist. I'm now going to give you a quick overview of the new features in each layer. The warp layer has grid points that you can move using the keyboard or mouse. The keyboard shortcuts are the same as they were in Twist 1. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate, hold down Control and use the arrow keys to move points one pixel at a time, or hold down Alt for faster movement. The Enter key sends warps to the projector. In Twist 2, you no longer need to remember whether you've previewed or saved to the projector. Just send your warp. Twist will automatically commit your most recent warp to the projector memory when you leave the warp tab or exit Twist. You can change your grid size easily using the control in the top right corner of each projector window. New for Twist 2 Premium or Professional, you can add custom points. Right click to add a point or to delete one. These points can then be moved to give you better control right where you need it. Deleting points can also be useful. Below the Layers tab is the Layers toolbar, which for warping contains two buttons. Spring Mode. This works just like it did in Twist 1, and is helpful for maintaining linearity in the direction of adjustment. Coming in Twist 2.1, based on early feedback, is Keystone Mode. This allows you to quickly keystone your warp by dragging the corners. It is useful for getting a perspective correct starting point before fine-tuning your warp. I'm really excited about what we've done with blending in Twist 2. We now have four blend modes. Manual blending, which will be familiar to users of Twist 1, has gained a few new tricks. You have more freedom to adjust the blend edges, and the blend drop-off control has been simplified. This gives you the control you need with much less effort. New in Twist 2 Premium or Professional, Automatic blending is based on technology from our AutoCal product and uses information about your channels and the warp to calculate the correct blend. Automatic wallpaper simple mode uses the twist canvas to determine the layout. You only have to specify the overlap. 
the blend correctly accounts for the blend overlap and the warp. It will update automatically. Wallpaper Advanced gives you more freedom to specify complex channel arrangements. And Automatic Fields of View or Spherical Blending Mode is also available in Twist 2 Professional. When using automatic blending, the test patterns are modified to correctly account for the specified overlap. This can be a real time saver when you do not have content available. Masking is simplified in Twist 2. By default, you're set up to mask any edge. We start you with corner and midpoints. You can then add or remove your own midpoints at any time. The brightness uniformity layer is available with Twist 2 Premium or Professional. You can edit one point at a time or all selected points just by clicking on the point label. You can also add or remove points using the right click menu. Global intensity adjustment is available using the button at the top right of each projector window. You may notice that my display has become a bit cluttered. In Twist 2, you can easily hide or show the overlay for each layer using the small eye beside each tab. For example, to hide the warp mesh, click the small eye beside the warp tab. Additionally, for blending, masking, and brightness, you may want to send only some layers to the projector. The upload button beside each layer allows you to send only the layers you want. For example, by deselecting the blend and mask, I can send only the brightness uniformity layer to the projector. When you're done working with your file, you can save it by using the Save button or Control S. It will be saved in the new .twistx format. Unfortunately, Twist1 cannot open these files. Twist2 brings a whole host of new features and a brand new visual design. Highlights include identify projectors, adding individual warp points wherever you need them, automatic blending, and enhanced test patterns. Thank you, and happy twisting!